Hi everyone, welcome back to Serenity Brune and Care. I uh, hope you're all okay and all well. Uh, this today is a rhododendron bush. I'm going to show you how to prune it, um, what to do, how to care for it. Uh, basically this is this is March, I usually prune around about October, November anyway because that's, that's when you start to see some new buds popping up anyway. So. I'm a bit late with this one, this uh, escaped me. Uh, basically, rhododendrons, they like it. A bit of shade, a bit of sun. Uh, they've got a lovely, beautiful flower. Um, they can get really big. This is a nice size. Uh, they like acid, so ericaceous soil, so that's an acid pH. Basically, this is going to need some, some feed. You've got some yellow in there. So it's going to need a bit of food through the year. Uh, as you can see there, there's some new buds ready to rock and roll in the next month or so. And what I'm going to show you is, this is a good example actually uh, of an old, that's an old flower there, that brown. So there's a few on there. It's like an old flower. So what you do is you prune it. Now you can see there. There's a bud or a side shoot just there. Ready to rock and roll, come back up. So what you do is get your secateurs and you want them nice and sharp, nice and clean. Just there, as you can see, nice clean cut. And that's it basically. And you'll have, do it with the rest of them, whatever you've got. I usually do this. I think I said about in October, November. Uh, they're green then. All the all the leaves would have fallen off, and they're green, and they're just easy just to prune off. And uh, there's more there. Look, side shoot. So I'll cut all these off. Uh, if you just leave them, they just end up getting. Uh, they just get so leggy and so ropey. Um, that side shoot would have just carried on going, and they get. These these old flowers they get really you know, black and really hard and they get and you could get sometimes the bud has a nice fresh green bud. Sometimes these go brown uh, and I think that's because of lack of pruning. Uh, if you want, I mean it's very hard to actually prune a rhododendron. It's not hard. You just cut it obviously, but it's where to prune it. <laughs> Often you don't prune. Rhododendron, but because as you can see, they're all it's all a tip stemmed leaf and flower. But if obviously, if a plant, a rhododendron, they can get massive, if it gets out of control, just cut it where wherever, really. Try and just cut it all the way down. I mean, there's a new, a new shoot there coming from the bottom. Sometimes you see that they have some, they have some new shoots, so you can cut it right down um, but basically that's it well I hope, hope that's helpful this is March um, they like rhododendrons like shade and sun part shade and sun and ericaceous soil which is a uh, acid pH right, I hope that's helpful and uh, please subscribe and uh, press the like button um, and I'll see you again soon thank you very much